Hey, what's up, YouTube AI here. We're going to do a little discussion about the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Brazil versus Cameroon. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the stats. And then a little bit later, we'll get into the highlights and goals review. So, uh, this was the World Cup Group A third match for these two teams. Cameroon had one goal. Brazil had four goals. Matip, Neymar, two, Fred, and Fernandinho. One, two, three. That, that sounds like five, but whatever. <laughs> so these guys, they played at the Estadio Nacional in Brazil. Um, Cameroon started Atande, Naom, Nakulu, Matip, Badimo, Neguemo, Enyo, Mebia, Mokanju, Chopu Motin, Abu Bakar, with Brazil starting Julio Cesar, Danny Alves, Thiago Silva, David Luiz, Marcelo, Luis Gustavo, Paulinho, Hulk, Oscar, Neymar, and Fred. Now, for the Cameroon side, Enyo and Mabia got two yellow cards, with Brazil receiving no cards, which is good for them, they won't have to worry about that. Possession. Cameroon had the ball 46% of the time, with Brazil having it 54% of the time. Cameroon had 12 shots, Brazil 19. One of those Cameroon shots were on target, with Brazil having 11 on target. Cameroon had 6 corners, Brazil 7. Cameroon had 14 fouls, and Brazil 19. Now, at the 1 minute mark, Bedimo brings down Hulk at the top of the box, but don't worry, because nothing happened. Third minute superb chance for Brazil. Neymar finds Hawk charging into the box. He gives it off to Palimo, who has the whole goal to aim at, but he takes too long in the shot of the block. Fifth minute Hulk threads in Fred, but he has a shot blocked. Corner to Brazil. Eleventh minute brings us the first yellow card. You know, on a nasty challenge on Marcelo. Seventeenth minute or the 15th minute Neom takes Neymar out off the ball after he had ran out of play. Just a talking to from a Swedish referee. He really probably should have got a yellow, maybe even a red card. 17th minute goal for Brazil. It was a great play from Luis Gustavo. Steals the ball deep inside the Cameroon half and squares the ball across the box for Neymar to slap the ball home. Nothing really happens until the 26th minute where Cameroon gets their first goal. It all comes down after a corner, Matep smacks the ball against the post. They're in another corner, but it soon breaks down and falls to Nairam on the left, who crosses for Matip to slam it into the net. Pretty good goal, but the 34th minute, Brazil is able to answer back with a goal by Marcelo, or when Marcelo won the ball after Naomi heads clear, passes it the first time to Neymar, who cuts it from the left to put the ball into the back of the net. Pretty good goal. And that's pretty much it for the first half. There was one minute of stoppage time. Um, Brazil made one uh, substitute here at halftime. They brought in Fernand Fernandinho and took Paulinho out of the game. Whew, so in the 49th minute goal for Brazil as Fernandinho, the substitute has the ball on the edge of the box. He gives it to David Luiz on the left, who crosses to for Fred to just head it home. Replay shows that he was marginally onside, but Fred doesn't care because he gets his first goal of the tournament. It's a very nice goal. Incredibly harsh decision on Mokudu. He fouls Diego Silva in a very dangerous position that would have left it one-on-one, -on -one, but Mr. Erickson, the referee, calls a foul. 63rd minute, Thiago Silva gives the ball away in his own half. Cameroon will have a chance to break, but Julio Cesar is out quickly to clear the ball away. 67th minute, Neymar is offside. 80th minute yellow card from Mabia and Sali, which uh, we don't, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> 85th minute a goal for Brazil, and that's pretty much seals the top spot for Brazilians. It's a cracking goal as well. Cameroon give the ball away in their own half, and it falls to Fernandinho. Plays a quick pass to Fred, who gives it to Oscar, and then back to Fernandinho, who toe pokes the ball home. Very nice goal. But here we go. <sighs> Four to one in favor of the Brazilians as they march along into the group, not the group stage, but the elimination stage of the World Cup tournament. That's it for Brazil.